Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2020 Ford Ranger, we're gonna be showing you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure uh, that this is gonna be the right hitch for your truck. Putting a trailer hitch on the back of your Ranger just makes sense. You know, it looks right at home. Uh, obviously you have a truck and you wanna be able to use it. So by having this hitch back here, it's really gonna be able to uh, open up our opportunities on what we can do whether it be pulling a trailer around or even using a uh, hitch mounted type accessory. So there is a couple of other hitches available for the Ranger and I just kind of want to take a moment to compare them real quick. So uh, the Kurt one, that's going to be pretty much identical to this setup here. Really the, the main difference is going to be the finish of the hitch. It's going to have a, a glossy type finish. Uh, personally, I kind of like the matte black that the E-Trailer one has, but teach your own, you know, it's whatever you like. And then there's gonna be a draw tight hitch as well. Uh, it's gonna look very, very similar. Really the main difference is with that one, it's uh, weight capacities are gonna be a little bit higher. Not really a huge deal though. These ones, uh, the curtain, each other one has pretty good weight ratings as well. So really it's just gonna boil down to, to which one you think uh, would look the best on the back of your Ranger. With this being a class three hitch, it is gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. And at the end of it, reinforced collar for some extra support. It is going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Now those don't come included with the hitch. If you need one though, not really a big deal. You can grab it here at E-Trailer. And the safety chain openings are going to be a loop style. Relatively large, definitely easy to get to. So we should be able to use just about any size hook uh, that we might have. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's going to have a 900 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. And that's going to be the amount of weight that's pushing down on the hitch. So a uh, pretty high number. You'll be able to use just about any size bike rack or cargo carrier that you'd want to, for example. As far as the hitch's maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 6,000 pounds. And that's going to be the amount of weight that is pulling on the hitch. So the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Uh, the hitch can be used with the weight distribution system, which is a separate component. And what happens is whenever you use that, it's going to keep your Ranger and your trailer uh, level whenever you're towing it down the road. So if you have like a really heavy camper or something along those lines, it might be worth looking into. Uh, with that said though, um, even if you're using the weight distribution, the tongue weight uh, rating remains the same at 900. However, the trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds. With that in mind, uh, I do always like to suggest it's never a bad idea just to grab your Ranger's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your Ford can tell that much weight safely. So for those of you that do plan on pulling uh, some larger trailers around, a lot of times those trailers are going to have uh, what's called seven way round uh, wiring type connector. And I believe all of these Rangers, regardless of the package, come with the factory uh, four way flat type wiring. But obviously that isn't going to work. That's not going to plug into a trailer that has the seven way. So if that's something you plan on doing, we offer a couple of kits here at E-Trailer uh, that are seven ways that you could pick up, uh, install on your truck, and be able to plug into those different types of trailers. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements and you can use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be about 19 inches. So if you plan on pulling a trailer around, chances are pretty good. You can get a ball mount that has a slight drop in the shank. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, that's going to be about four inches and you can use that measurement to find out that if any folding type accessories you might have can be stored in that upright position without contacting the back of your Ranger. One of the good things about this setup is the install. It's pretty easy. You're just going to need a couple of C-clamps and a couple more tools, but you're going to clamp these tabs together pull out two factory bolts, and then essentially just put the hitch up in place and tighten it down. So it really shouldn't uh, give you a ton of issues or take up a bunch of your time. Other than that though, hitch that's gonna look pretty good on the back of your Ranger and get the job done. If you need to stick around and see how the install is done, feel free to. If not, hope to see you around. To begin our installation, we're gonna be here underneath the back of our Ranger. And what we're gonna be doing is working on each side of our frame rail. And so if we look, we're gonna have a tab here that we're gonna to need to clamp down. 
So here's that tab, and we're gonna use a clamp to squeeze the two together. And the reason being is our hitch is gonna use this existing hardware. So this is what's holding up this, there's a kind of a bumper beam, I guess you could call it. So when we take these out, this is obviously gonna come down. Well, we're gonna prevent that by squeezing these two tabs together. So I just have a C-clamp, put it around there and get it tight. And I wanna mention from this point on, anything we do to one side of the vehicle, we're also gonna to do to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. What we're gonna do is remove these factory bolts and I'm gonna do that using a 21 millimeter socket. These are on there really tight, so you're probably gonna need a, a big breaker bar uh, to get them loose, or you can use your standard half inch ratchet and then find like a pipe or something you can put on the end of the handle to make it longer and give you some more leverage. So I'm gonna break these loose. Get them started and then I'll come back with my tool and my power tool and pull them out just to kind of speed things up. Now with an extra set of hands, we can take our hitch and raise it into position. Holes in the hitch are gonna line up with those factory holes and then you're just gonna take those bolts that we removed and get them started hand tight. And snug them down. With the hardware snug, we need to make sure to come back with a torque wrench and torque it down to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can get one here at E-Trailer. Or a lot of times you go to your local auto parts store, they'll have one there available uh, that you can rent. Then all we have left to do is get our clamps removed. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the eTrailer.com trailer hitch receiver on our 2020 Ford Ranger.